Hey everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Today we're going to be talking about folding at home and the new 40 series graphics cards from NVIDIA. So if you're like folding at home, what's that? Never heard of it. Uh, folding at home, and I've got the uh, web page up here. It's folding at home. It's all one word. Uh, ad is spelled out. So it's foldingathome.org. If you want to check this out, Folding at home is basically distributive computing. What we're doing is we're taking the processing power from computers all over the world, and we're using that power to help uh, in the search for cures for diseases. So normally, uh, researchers use massive mainframe computers to do the computations, to uh, uh, do the simulations for uh, research, and uh, Obviously, there are not that many mainframes available, plus it's expensive to maintain those uh, systems. So what they do is they use the uh, processing capability and processing power of computers like yours and mine. So you're basically donating your processing power uh, to these projects. And all of this comes down to protein folding. And some of the diseases uh, that researchers are working on include uh, neurological diseases, diseases such as Alzheimer's, Huntington's, Parkinson's, uh, all kinds of uh, cancers, uh, COVID-19, all sorts of things like that. And if you've never seen protein folding in action, basically you've got a molecule here and you can see all the atoms and the simulation involves uh, when the protein is being synthesized, uh, there are all these steps that have to happen with different atoms uh, being brought in and the way they assemble, it's like a giant three-dimensional tinker toy. And if these different intricate folds don't happen just right for a variety of reasons, uh, you can end up with a lot of the diseases that we talked about earlier. And uh, the research here simulates all of the different outcomes of the potential misfolds so that drugs can be targeted and therapies can be targeted towards these diseases. So if you're like, wow, that's amazing, how can I help? Well, you can come up here to join the fold, you download the client, install it on your computer, and when you fire it up, you end up with a screen that looks like this. And you can use a CPU or a GPU, and I've got my uh, personal information here blocked out. But uh, right now I'm just using the GPU. There was a time when you could use the CPU, uh, but the power that you get out of your CPUs now, your folding power, uh, is not anywhere near the bang for your buck in terms of power used to get the, uh, uh, the, the folding projects completed. Uh, you won't get anywhere near the type of performance that you'll get out of a graphics card, especially the current ones today. So what I want to show today are some of the numbers that I'm seeing across the uh, the graphics cards that I'm uh, testing, and that is the RTX 4070, the RTX 4080, and the RTX 4090. Now currently I've got an RTX 4090 on this test system, and uh, your, your mileage will vary depending upon the project that you're folding. Uh, not all projects will give you the same numbers, and you will notice that your numbers here, your points per day, vary uh, from project to project. Now, you don't get anything uh, for your points per day. You don't cash them in for any monetary value. You just get to look at the performance and it sort of gives you that nice warm fuzzy feeling that you're helping to contribute to this very worthy project. So the RTX 4090 I'm seeing right now about 23 and a half million points per day. I've seen as high as 26 million points per day. Uh, sometimes when I run the 4090 I'll see 18 to 20 uh, million points per day. It just varies. And like I said, I'm getting about 23 and a half million points right now with the RTX 4090 Founders Edition card from NVIDIA. The test systems that we'll be using today include the MSI Z790 Carbon Wi-Fi from MSI. I've got 32 gig of Mushkin Redline DDR5 RAM. The cooler is the MAG Core Liquid C280 from MSI. The power supply is the MPG A1000G, also from MSI. The CPU that you can't see, because it's under the pump, is the 13900K from Intel. The other test system I'm using is the Z690 Tomahawk from MSI. 
You can see the graphics card here is the 3070Ti. The processor under the pump there is the 12600KF from Intel. The cooler I'm using is the Celsius S36 from Fractal Design and the memory there. I believe I've got 32 gigabytes from Corsair. And the power supply hiding down here in the bottom is from Fractal Design. It is the Ion Plus 2 Platinum 860W, which is of course 860 watts. Typically you want to keep your graphics drivers updated. Uh, every once in a while there will be a release that doesn't play nicely with folding at home and you'll notice your numbers uh, may take a hit. But typically those things are resolved with another uh, driver update. And sometimes you have to go back a rev to uh, get back to where you were, but it usually gets resolved in short order. And honestly, I don't remember the last time I had a driver issue, so take it with a grain of salt. Now, this is the RTX 3070 Ti. It is also a Founder's Edition card. And with this card, I'm getting about 5.3 million points per day at the moment. And some people like to know the temperatures. I'm holding it around 55 to 57 degrees Celsius. I'm uh, running on the stock fan curve uh, to keep the fan noise down. Sometimes I'll bump the fans up a little bit to uh, let the cards run a little cooler. And as far as power usage on the 3070 Ti, uh, let's see, I am using about 245 watts. Looks like I peaked at 249. And back to the 4090. Uh, we're holding uh, in the low 50s, low to mid 50s on temperature. Again, I'm using the stock fan curve. And then for our temperature, or uh, actually our wattage, uh, let's see. Here we go. We're using about 250 watts. And if you ever want to see exactly what you're working on as far as the details, this particular project, 18213, if you come over here and click on it, it opens a window and you can read up on the details for this particular project. Okay, so the current folding project is almost done on this 4090 and I'll pop the 4080 in there and we'll see what it does. So we're down to the last few minutes. You can see here you get a base credit of 70,000 points. The estimated credit for this particular project at the rate that I'm uh, folding is worth about 750,000 points. And again, I'm around uh, 23, 24 million points per day. So this would be if I folded all day long, 24 hours, uh, this is roughly the number of points I would accumulate. And actually, uh, here's a quick screenshot that I saved from the 4090 when I got as high as 26 million. I was going to run the Founders Edition 4080, but actually I think I'm going to run this MSI Supreme X RTX 4080. And then on the other system, we'll go ahead and run this uh, 4070 Ti and see what it does. All right, so we'll change cards now. Uh, I did get a comment uh, on my 4070 Ti review of that graphics card from a viewer, I believe is, uh, his name is XJIOP, however you pronounce that. And he was asking, is there any coil wine? And uh, I've noticed uh, short answer, yes, there is some sound that you can hear when you get right up against the card, but it varies from project to project and at what stage the uh, graphics card is working on the project. Sometimes you can hear a little bit, sometimes you can't. It really depends on how close you are to the card, but I mean, you have to be right up on it before you can hear anything. All right, so we're ready to run with the 4080. And here's a quick public service announcement. Uh, on these 40 series graphics cards, it's very important to make sure that your power connector is fully engaged in the socket on the graphics card. There is no gap along the bottom here. And the locking tab right here is fully engaged with the socket. And now the 4080 is crunching on a project here, 18449. Uh, we're getting a little over 10 million points per day. Uh, I've seen the 4080 vary from around 10 to 18, maybe 20. And uh, this is interesting, although I think it was just a blip 
uh, when I first fired the 4080 up, when I first got it, it's been a few weeks ago, uh, I saw very briefly that we hit 47 million points. And I thought, well, that's strange because that's uh, quite a bit more than I was seeing on the 4090, which was about 26 million, uh, which is the highest I've seen. And I'm watching this for a couple of minutes and it gets over 50 million points. Again, this is the RTX 4080. And then I see it almost hit 52 million points before it dropped back down to around 18 million on this particular project. So this was just an anomaly. You don't usually see uh, <laughs> that kind of a point per day on a, on a card, even as powerful as these uh, 40 series cards are. So the temperatures right now, I'm holding it about 51 uh, degrees Celsius. The card is really quiet. I listened for coil whine. I got right up there. Yeah, I can kind of hear something, but uh, the fan noise more than drowns it out. And there really isn't that much fan noise. Uh, power here, we're using about, it uh, looks like we peaked a little over 200 watts on this particular project. And like I said, uh, the projects vary in terms of power used and points per day. So while I'm waiting for this project to finish up before I can get the 4070, running uh, real quick on the folding at home website any questions you have can be answered here they have a really nice frequently asked questions section here that you can go through and uh, they actually have a very nice uh, support forum again pretty much any question you can ask has probably already been answered but a lot of really great people here will help you out okay so the 4080 is done We'll go ahead and switch over to the 4070. Now the 4070 is a much uh, lighter weight card. It's much smaller than the 4080. You can see right here the difference in size. There's the 4080, there's the 4070. Set them up on end, and you can see considerable difference. All right, now we'll get the 4070 in there. And again, you want to pay uh, close attention to how you plug your power connector in. You want to make sure it is fully seated. You can hear a little click when it goes in. I don't know how well that picked up on the microphone, but we'll be ready to roll here in just a moment. This project here is 18448. We're getting uh, a little under 8 million points per day. It actually was at 8 a little earlier and it's dropped down just a little bit. And I've seen it go between 7 and 9. I don't know that I've seen 10 million yet on this card. Temperature wise, again, we're holding there 53, 54C. And the power usage, we are uh, just under 200 watts maximum. Yeah, not quite, but close to 200 watts. So Everything I'm sharing today, all of the numbers that you're seeing, uh, really that's just for reference because every card is going to perform a little differently uh, on, on your different systems. Uh, each project is going to perform differently depending upon what card you're running it on. So again, this is just really for reference so you can sort of get a, a ballpark and compare that to what you're getting. And uh, actually post uh, the numbers that you're seeing with your setup, uh, post that in the comments so it'd be interesting to see. And I do most of my folding in the fall, uh, winter, of course, and the spring. Uh, not so much in the summer because of the amount of heat that is generated. Uh, depending upon what card you're using, uh, it can dump a lot of heat into the room. Uh, and it also depends on your case. Uh, you want to make sure you have really good airflow with whatever case you're using uh, due to the amount of heat that's being generated. Because throughout the course of each project, the card is running pretty much. Uh, almost a hundred percent and uh, there's a lot of heat that's being dumped into your case so i hope you learned something about protein folding check out folding at home if you're interested 
it's just a nice way to give back and Nvidia makes it that much easier with these 40 series graphics cards. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.